Welcome to the channel The Practical Study. Guys, today I am going to tell you that how hot water absorption chiller works. Before moving to this basic concepts, it is to request you please subscribe our channel so that you can find more informative videos in future. A hot water absorption chiller has basically four portion. One is generator, condenser, evaporator and absorber. A generator is a portion in which lithium bromide plus water solution is heated by hot water or steam which converts water into vapors and collect down strong lithium bromide solution. So when the lithium bromide plus water solution is heated in generator, so water is separated through vapors and lithium bromide strong solution is collected in generator. These water vapors move towards condenser. In condenser, water vapors from generator are cooled down by cooling tower water which are moving in the condenser tubes and convert them into liquid form again. In evaporator, in which water from the condenser is collected from high pressure to low pressure due to which its boiling point and temperature decreases and here heat exchange between incoming chilled water which has the temperature of 12 to 13 degree centigrade and we get chilled water out of 7 degree centigrade or lower and water convert into vapors and moves towards the absorber. Now when water moves towards the absorber here heat exchange between hot lithium bromide and cooling tower water and also water vapors which we get from evaporator cools down to water and we get lithium bromide plus water solution which we call weak lithium bromide solution which is again pumped to the generator by passing through heat exchanger. So this process continues and we get chilled water. Now guys we study the schematic diagram that how all these processes or cycles works. As you can see this schematic diagram this is generator portion, this is condenser portion, this is evaporator portion and this is absorber portion. Now what happens this green color is showing strong lithium bromide solution. This red color is showing the hot water tubes or steam tubes this yellow color is showing that the lithium bromide plus water solution which we are getting from absorber is being showered on our heat source so when this lithium bromide plus water solution is showered on this heat source then the water in uh, present in lithium bromide started to evaporate after exchanging heat and started to move towards the condenser and we get strong lithium bromide solution, pure lithium bromide solution in the generator chamber. So when the water vapors in the generator move towards the condenser, then, the, then these water vapors moves across the tubes which has circulating cooling tower water. Then after uh, exchanging heat, these water vapors converted again into the liquid form and collected in the condenser. Then this water move towards the evaporator in order to maintain the water level in evaporator guys in evaporator we have low pressure so when water comes from high pressure side to low pressure side then its boiling point decreases and also its temperature decreases to 4 degree centigrade or lower here evaporator there is a refrigerant pump which circulates water from the evaporator to showering plate so and here are the chilled water lines we get the chilled water in hot position of 12 to 13 degree centigrade from the process and when this chilled water come across the showering water of temperature 3 to 4 degree centigrade then the heat exchange takes place and we get chilled water out of 7 degree centigrade and after exchanging heat due to very low boiling point these water started to convert into vapors and started to move towards the absorber. When these water vapors move towards the absorber, then these water vapors come across the cooling tower water tubes and after exchanging heat, these water vapors converted into water. Also the green color which I already told you is indicating the lithium bromide strong solution 
which is being pumped through a heat exchanger and showers in the absorber then these this uh, lithium bromide solution after exchanging heat with cooling tower water also collected in the absorber so in absorber we have lithium bromide plus water solution which is again pumped towards the generator but before going to the generator this lithium bromide and water solution preheat by exchanging heat between strong lithium bromide hot solution and after exchanging heat from this these uh, lithium bromide plus water solution move towards the heat exchanger where is incoming hot lithium bromide solution here also heat exchange takes place so we uh, get preheated lithium bromide plus water solution which is showered in the generator chamber why we preheat this lithium bromide water solution in order to save the amount of energy which we are providing to heat in the generator chamber so in this way this process continues and we get our required chilled water as per our required temperature so guys this was our today's video i hope you people enjoy this and if you people enjoy this please like this video and give your feedback thank you so much